hi guys uh, welcome back in today's video we will discuss uh, java 8 new features or we will continue our java 8 new feature so we already completed lambda expression functional interface default method okay so if you haven't watched these three topic just go to my channel and go to the playlist section and uh, you found it this playlist uh, java 8 new feature so like as you can see we have a three videos here video content three so you can uh, watch it from here all these three topics okay so now move to our fourth topic is predicate okay predicates okay so first we will see some theoretical part and after that uh, we will move to our uh, eclipse okay so here we will do the practical implementation so what is predicate is here so let me make you understand first thing first it will introduce in 1.8 okay as we know we are discussing 1.8 features so predicate is an interface present in java util function package dot util dot functions package okay and one important thing as we discuss in this uh, video of functional interface what is functional interfaces uh, our interface which only contains one method right we are not talking about here a static or default method okay mm, okay so that is a functional interface so this predicate is a functional interface which introduced in 1.8 as you can uh, read here it is a functional interface present in a java util package okay so now next point is uh, a predicate contains a function with single argument and written boolean value or we can say predicate have boolean value function okay got it okay if you not got it may i will make it simple okay uh, like uh, predicate is a uh, like uh, having a boolean valued function it only contain like it only take up one argument and it will return a uh, like uh, true or false only so that's why we are saying predicate have boolean valued function okay so it only give you a result in the form of either true or either false so the one question now come in mind like uh, where we can use it right where we can use it so this is like one question very uh, pretty important question come in mind like uh, where i can use this so you can use this uh, in uh, uh, like you have uh, some decision making uh, requirement like is your string is greater than uh, um, like in suppose like if your string has a um, we can say you want to check your uh, string value or s dot string has greater than like 10 length is greater than 5 or 10 so you can say like like uh, s dot alien gth string and method greater than 5 so this is a decision making requirement right you can check it so in this form like you want just a true or false right you want to check like is your string is greater than length of 5 or not right so in this pretty conditions you can uh, uh, just check like either your integer like particular integer greater than 10 or not yeah your i value is greater than 10 or not so it will return a true if it is uh, uh, greater than 10 or it will return false it is not greater than 10 or in case of a string it is or like this is an example i am giving okay uh, this is not a particular conditions which you can use uh, this are uh, like in this uh, conditions you can use just i am giving an example so you want to check uh, like length of a string then you can use or if you want to check your uh, like totally i want to say here like uh, where you want a decision based on like true or false only you can use this predicate okay yeah so we can clear here this is a boolean value function and this is a functional interface okay yeah now just uh, move to the syntax uh, as you know like this uh, as you can see here interface predicate and argument type public boolean and test test is a function name which this uh, predicate contains okay and t is here like argument type what argument type you mention here like either integer like you want to give integer or you want to give a string whatever you want to give okay uh, so that on basis of that it will take argument so this is all about theoretical part now we will go to our eclipse and uh, we will do some coding and uh, there i will let you know and make you understand what it exactly look like 
okay and how we can use this so i uh, just read it uh, this question write a predicate to check whether given integer is greater than 50 or not okay so okay we want to write a predicate for that so as we discuss in this first like is if we have not have lambda expression then how this is a very big requirement like we have to create a one method and inside that we have to check our uh, number is greater than 50 or not and we will uh, pass like if we will say like uh, we will mention if condition if it is greater than 50 then return true or if it's not 50 then uh, return false right but it is not case with uh, function like predicates so let me create one class for you here uh, i will create here predicates or test i will get a test class okay and i will create one main method here okay yeah so now let me create a predicate for you or or yeah mm, predicate sorry predicate and integer it will take integer yeah i and in this term like you can say predicate p or uh, yeah i and here you have to use lambda expression so i greater than 50 or 25 whatever okay yeah this is no nothing fancy here you need to understand this okay this is your predicate and you are just doing giving the implementation of this method this which method test method test method okay yeah so now come down and uh, say so and you can say p dot test in test you have to pass something like uh, you, you will pass 100 okay why uh, this yeah 1100 okay and just run this application so what i will do just right click mm, yeah right click and run as java application right yeah mm, it's taking just little bit time yeah i don't know why but it will run okay so where the console is yeah true okay so because why it's true you can as you can see here this is we having a true here and this is our predicate here this is our predicate and in this we are calling right yeah so this is pretty much like we are checking or just let me uh, enter the one value less than 50 so just uh, you can see here false right right yeah uh, now you get idea like what i'm doing here this is uh, your predicate you are declaring and you are giving implementation to your test method okay got it now just move to the second example right a predicate to check length of given string is greater than five now you get idea right how we will do this so just uh, click here and control alt and down arrow and give the name here p1 okay and as we are checking for a string just give here a string and just uh, instead of i want to take s here because uh, as preference you can take anything okay length uh, greater than five cool and do one thing just uh, say so p1 dot test and you will pass here i will pass my name as my name ashwini has seven character okay so it will return true so what is the answer is false and true so as you can see here our answer is false and true got it yeah this is all like predicate but uh, uh, this is uh, like you look like simple here right yeah but this is simple i'm not uh, like uh, saying it is not it is complicated it is pretty simple okay but you can uh, feel or you can understand the actual use in when we are using a stream okay so now come back and when we are just finished this like we understand what predicates and all so the few important things are here like uh, predicate joining so as you can uh, see like uh, aware of the operators in java like and or or and negate right so these are similar methods which work as operator in java uh, works right 
so let me make you understand what is the meaning of this so just i want to uh, shall i just uh, remove this yeah so let's take one integer or uh, array so if you take one integer array x here and i want to declare at the same time or initializes at the same time okay so just take a few values one two three four five and six okay and i want to declare a predicates here uh, first predicate like integer because we are dealing with integer and p1 okay and i lambda expression uh, the first predicate is uh, for making you understand this whole scenario i want to dealing with one example okay and you will understand the whole scenario of this predicate joining uh, so first one deal with uh, even numbers this predicate gives me the even numbers and second predicate uh, integer this gives me the um, number greater than uh, okay so this will give me the number i greater than 20 or not 20 we don't have an array right so number greater than 2 equal equals to yeah just leave this get them to yeah so now how can we do that so i will create i want to create one method here so what is a method so we will say public static void m1 and what it receive it will receive predicate integer p okay and integer x what is integer not integer x we will say integer array x so you can give anywhere okay it's fine so now uh, we will take one for each loop if you're not getting it just give me two minutes i will type and i will let make you understand okay integer i and x so if now just uh, this thing p uh, dot test okay and i okay so if it will true then what you will do mm, it will print okay it will print i okay this is a scenario and now i will uh, show you what i am doing here so just come down say so print all even number okay now see uh, here i will call m1 and i will pass p1 because it dealing with even numbers right p1 and x so what will be the output let's check so just run this uh, duplicates problem main error on resolving duplicate p1 yeah sorry p2 okay yeah. now can you run please yeah uh, run it yeah i pushing it and it will run like i my system may become slow today i don't know why so it will taking unnecessary time so if you can see here like print all even numbers two four six right if you can see here two four six okay now the next thing the same thing i will copy to just save some time number greater than here i will say all print all number greater than two so just remove this so p2 okay now run this so here even greater than two now the joining factor will come in picture okay so let's see here print all number and i want to print all number greater than two and which are even also so all number greater than two and 
even so what you will do here p2 sorry yeah p2 dot uh, sorry p2 dot and p1 okay so let's see what it will do all number greater than 2 okay and even right now you got it what is this uh, and is doing right what this and is doing i hope like uh, now you got it this right so come back to the eclipse now we will uh, do or then we will do negate and how negate will work for make you understand negate just copy this uh, p21 or i will copy this uh, p1 okay so come down yeah and all odd numbers dot negate now see the magic 135 all odd numbers right or if you want to say like in this term you want to use or so come down and remove this one say uh, or so we will say here p1 so or let's check right so we have like either this or either this okay so if you got this like either greater than 2 so that's why we are not here the result result 1 okay so this is all about predicate for today's video and uh, very soon like tomorrow i will give you one video of uh, functions so till then uh, bye bye see you in next video